Hello friends. The most important thing in this life is to take decisions, right? If you talk about a company decisions or it can be a life decisions, we always feel that it is really crucial to take decisions. So friends, I am Subhash Karthik, your life coach will talk about Ask your board of directors. Friends, as we know that board of directors are the panel of people who are responsible for taking decisions because to company, to run, to make profit, to make a mark, to lead, they has to have they have to have a very strong board of directors. But why are we talking about board of directors? You all know that. Friends, I'm talking about the board of directors who are running our life, who have become our decision makers. If you don't have your board of directors, I think you think twice. Yes, friends. If we are taking decisions as per our perception, as per our past experiences, as per uh, the way our parents have taught us, I think this is not sufficient. Yes, friend, this is not sufficient. Just like a running a traditional business and the decision makers are just a family members. Friends, if we really want to lead the life, we really need leaders, leaders who can run our life, like Mahatma Gandhi. Of course, Mahatma Gandhi is not going to come to us and help, but we can make him as a pan in, in, in a board of directors and we can use his thoughts, his leadership skills. So it's just like not only remembering, also following them, right? I'll, I'll speak more details on this. So we have already talked about what is board of directors. Why do we need them? Well, yes, we need them to take important decisions. Where to find them? It's a very contradictory discussion. You know, one day what happened? I went to one of my friend's house and I saw there was a very good book was there. I will not name that book and the author name. But I'll just say one thing that when I, I already read that book earlier. So I just wanted to ask that because that book really made difference in my life. So I thought it may have done the same with my friend. So when I asked him that, hey dear, how did you like this book? He said, Oh my God, it's just a bookish thing have been written there. It cannot be put into reality. It is not possible. That time I thought that why the same book made a big difference in my life and it could make a 0.1% difference in my friend's life because he did not make that author, that person as his board of directors. If you would have met him a board of directors, I think he could have done it very well. I think he could have go gone as per him. I'll just give more details on that. How to pay respect to them? Yes, now my story goes. If you talk about my board of directors, then I count there are 12 people are there who are my board of directors, not IDQ, but I'm talking about my Subhash Karthik's board of directors. The first one, of course, myself, Subhash Karthik. But what are the rest 11 people? The first one I will talk about Mr. Late Great Mahatma Gandhi. I remember him when he said that do whatever you want, people will ignore you, they will fight with you, they will 
they will laugh at you but after that you will win if you keep on fighting i learned from him and whenever i face these kind of situations i remember him and i act like him i think like him and i feel good and i feel that i am more strong and it it happens just a fraction of second time it's not that i'm thinking and he's telling do this no it, it happens just in a fraction of second because i believed him i trusted him and his ideas so i just met him and just met him present in my board of directors the second person goes is joseph murphy yes from him i learned how to how to take use of my subconscious mind and do whatever you feel like uh the next person would be shiv khera yes shiv khera i learned from him that my life is kind of a car whose driver is myself and i cannot let anybody to sit in my driving seat and drive it means taking control of my own car means my own life i will not let anybody to insult me never nobody can insult me then the next one is robin sharma yes friends from him i learned how to become a leader in any company you go most of the people you will find they are just a manager they are just following what their management is saying they are not utilizing their leadership skills <sighs> it's very easy to become a manager here but not a leader the next person who is edward de bono from him i learned how to think creatively how to take use of different thing to solve anything to do any any new thing the next person is robert t kiyosaki ah he is an awesome person from him i learn how to make money it's not that i am the richest person right now but i learn that how to think like a rich person of course one day i will definitely become and i believed i believe on him and his ideas the next person stefan arkovi yes friends from stefan arkovi i learned how to take decisions by putting six thinking hats the next person thomas a harris from thomas a harris i really learned that how to talk to people when anybody talk to me i know that how to respond to him so that we always have a longer and strongest relationship then the next person steve jobs we all know that he was a great person he was a he was a uh, dedicated towards his work risk taker leader i really loved him and still i love him like anything so the next person already i have uh, talked about mahatma gandhi joseph murphy shiv khera robin sharma edward de bono robert t kiyosaki stephen arkove daniel goldman yes friends i have kept him in my mind because whenever i get into any emotional trouble which makes me weak i take suggestions from daniel and he gives me suggestions i know it sounds very uh, very weird and very artificial but that's the thing that's the magic of this board of directors thinking habits uh so i have already talked about 11 people including me now the 12th one his my favorite and please don't laugh and what should i say is none other than lord krishna i really trust his thought i really uh, i feel that 
I I think like him. It's not that I'm Lord Krishna. I know that. I'm thinking. Of, I'm talking about the way he used to thought, the way he used to suggest Arjuna, the way he used to take action. I really follow him like him. So friends, these are my twelve board of directors who are really taking decisions, sitting on my head, and it happened just in a fraction of second. Even I don't know when I talk like them, when I take decisions by following them, but I do follow them because they were great, and because their thoughts were great, their actions were great. It's not that they were having money. No money. Let it aside. I'm talking about values. I'm talking about their attitude. I'm talking about their their self image. Very positive. Very high. Very strong. And very stimulating. When they speak, they think, they act. People listen. People obey. People respond. The same thing. We have seen in Lagero Munna Bhai when an illiterate, illiterate person like Munna Bhai, he started thinking about Mahatma Gandhi, and the same thing happened in his life in that movie. If being an illiterate person, Munna Bhai can make his board of directors as Mahatma Gandhi. I think we are much literate than Munna Bhai, right? If he can, why can't we? Of course, it is difficult, and that is the reason people make so many wrong decisions in their life. But if you really want, and if you really trust, if you really, if you really believe these people and follow them, the life will never disappoint us. The life will never disappoint us. Rather, we will become a very strong, stimulating, and mesmerizing leader. Thank you very much.